This is the De Rosa SK Pinin Farina of Gregor Bolle of the Nippovini Fantini squad. <laughs> De Rosa are an Italian brand, they've been around since 1953 and this particular new Aero Thoroughbred is a collaboration between the Pinin Farina brand, they're a sports car manufacturer and design firm that have been around since 1930. Now blending motor car aesthetics and design with cycling brands isn't particularly new, we saw McLaren team up with Specialized and of course Ferrari team up with Conago recently and this is the result. Just from this bike's sleek looks, it's got everything you'd expect from an aerodynamic frame. From the head tube, it's got a tapered head tube and all the wiring and cabling is fully internal. Right the way down to the back end here, we've got dual mount brakes, both front and rear. Now, interesting design process at De Rosa. The carbon is actually handmade in the factory there and as well as the De Rosa hand-built element, the kind of uh, artisan approach, there's also a degree of 3D printing involved in this frame as well. And as you'd expect with an Italian bike, it's got full Italian Campognolo Super Record 11 speed EPS throughout. We've already talked about the dual mount brakes front and rear, that extends across to the uh, brake levers. Chain set is the classic Super Record 53 39 ratio. And interestingly, at uh, the back, Gregor Boll has chosen an 11-27 rather than the 28, which isn't normally a sprocket you see, but that's the sort of gear ratio that will see Gregor Boll over most mountain passes in the Giro, and perhaps change to a 36 inner chain ring for the really steep mountains. Now the wheels are Campagnolo Bora Ultra 50s, so like a semi-deep section wheel, which will get uh, Gregor Boll quite happily through the opening stages or the flat stages of the Giro d'Italia. Now the tyres, aren't a particular brand I'm overly familiar with. They are IRC Formula Pro race team tyres. Now these are made in Japan and both front and rear we have 25 millimetre profiles. Moving along to the points of contact, we've got a Cell Italia Team Edition saddle. We've got Time Carbon Espresso, very Italian indeed, although they're a French brand, pedals. Then moving across to the front of the bike, we've got an FSA full carbon bar and stem setup, which has actually been hand-painted fluo to match with the decals of the bike. I'm now going to get my tape measure out to give you some stats. 14 centimeter stem. Now the seat to bar reach is 58 centimeters and seat height here 74. I reckon I could get on that. De Rosa claimed this bike to be a blend of aerodynamic efficiency, comfort and lightweight as well as stiffness. So we're going to put the lightweight element to the test. We're just going to remove the bidons for a second and then we're going to weigh this bike. So that comes in at 7.20 kilograms. And the final few details on this bike, we've got a proprietary De Rosa Aero seat pin in matching fluoro colours. We've got a little Campagnolo chain catcher just down there and this is topped off with elite bottle cages. So there you have it, the De Rosa SK Pini Fanina. Now, if uh, pro bikes really are your thing and you want to see some more, how about heading just up here for our pro bike playlist and for some tours of Pro Team's mechanics trucks, how about clicking just down here? And as ever, to subscribe to GCN, how about clicking on the globe before I get blown over? <laughs>